All right, so everybody, we are going to start with the video tour of Tyler's adaptations that he uses in his house. Um, like we were mentioning on the podcast earlier, he has some pretty cool stuff. So, hey, Tyler, take it away. Will do. I just got to try to figure out how to flip around this camera. Give me one second. Oh, yeah. There it is, I think. <laughs> My old iPhone broke. I was using an iPhone 5. Okay. Yeah. The new iPhone 11 is really cool. It has an in-depth camera. So it does eye tracking and head tracking to control the cell phone. So oh, if you're like non-verbal, it's a great way to access your phone. Nice, nice. Hold up. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Take your time. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Doesn't want to flip uh, around, huh? Mm -hmm. No, I use uh, like switch control and yeah. it mm -hmm. times out. Oh, it does. That's frustrating. So flip the camera. Flip the okay. I, I have an idea. Okay. Take, yeah, don't worry. I don't have, I'm not, there oh, there you go. go. It's working. Yay. Okay. okay. Sweet. So I'll start with my computer setup. Okay. Angle my chair here. Nice. Nice. All right. All right. Mm, cool. Nice. So that is the quad joy. That little stick there and the mm. microphone's next to it. And I just, you know, move around with my mouth and left and right click. And um, wow. it works pretty good for me. And then I also use, I got to use Dragon speech recognition and also windows speech recognition as well so that's really impressive who built that whole system set up for you my brother so he is a mechanical engineer so i'm super lucky to have him because he can pretty much build anything that i can think of. it's beautiful i love the wood it looks good you know and it's practical you don't you don't need anything in your way it's just all the spaces for you and your wheelchair to pull right up there and and are the, the three screens a must? It, did you find that three were the needed number of screens? Or yeah, I like it. Um, it's just I have a hard time jumping between windows. I'm just not as fast with the mouse stick. So this way, it's easier for me to accomplish tasks. Like when I went back to school, I was using just a little Surface tablet, and if I needed to quote something from a paper. Uh, it was really difficult to hop between windows and memorize like two words and hop back into the Word document. Mm -hmm. This way, just leave it up and see it. And it's so much easier. That's really cool. And those are just, are those good? They, they almost look like TV screens, but they're all yeah. three of those are computer monitors, huh? Yeah. Okay. Very cool. So, and that big joystick in the front, that's your quad joy or your? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Really? All right. Let's see your other stuff now. Okay, so this won't be applicable to many people, but um, that's okay. Yeah, that little uh, blue grayish thing is called a Coppasis machine. Okay, and that provides inspiratory and expiratory pressure, so I can uh, kind of clean out my lungs. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of people who have trachs use these types of things, um, or suctioning when the little tube goes down your throat. It's the same idea as this machine. This machine just does inspiratory and expiratory pressure. Nice. So I wanted to figure out a way to do that myself without requiring a caretaker helping. So yeah. wow. I mounted that face mask right there. What? I, just, I just drive up to the face mask cool. and I give a voice command which turns a smart outlet on and off. And so once I get the face up there, I just tell the machine to turn on. Cool. And then I can do the cough assist myself without a character. Oh, that's awesome. So it literally comes down, moves down towards your face at the perfect angle. Yeah, it, I just, it's at the right spot. I just drive up to it, turn it on, and then I can do the cough assist without the help of someone. Yeah. Like with a caretaker, you'd need someone to hold that mask up to your face as well as operate the machine. Yeah. This yeah. way, I just have the machine in like automatic mode. So as soon as it receives power, it runs the, you know, the 
inspiratory breaths and expiratory breaths. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, so have you are, have you ever seen anything like this device? Or are you the first to create something like this? I've never seen anything like this before. Well, when I created this, there wasn't. I don't. I don't think there's anything else that would do that. Now they have a ventilator that actually does inspiratory and expiratory pressure. It's like an all-in-one vent. It mm -hmm. does the regular ventilator stuff, nebulizer, and inspiratory, expiratory. So. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, that's a way to go. But this could be an option for someone who doesn't have the opportunity to get one of those new fancy ventilators. Well, I think it's great. And don't, I might, do, do any other quadriplegics, you know, have this kind of setup or are you the first to create the, you I know, think I'm the first one. Um, yeah. But I wouldn't be surprised if people, you know, there's so many of us out there. We just, you know, mm -hmm. there's lots of ideas that we haven't found, you know. So yeah. I'm sure if someone's came up with something similar to it. You know. So, and you used this, what, 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 did, what was the name of the device you used that moves it down? It's a switch? Or a... Yeah, a smart outlet. So, uh, you know, like Amazon, Wemo, um, yeah. I don't know, I'm sure there's an Apple smart outlet. And cool. all it does is turn power on and off at the wall. So yep. anything that can be plugged into a wall and left with power on. So think like a lamp. You right. can always put the lamp in the on position and then just, if once the power is connected and disconnected from the wall, it turns on and off. Could you show me how it works, or is that hard to do from your position? Yeah, I it, well, the thing is, it's super loud. Oh, so okay. let's not do it then. Yeah, um, that's crazy. Well, I like but that I you can be independent. On, yeah. Yeah, I have a video on my YouTube channel. Oh, um, you just do. my name, Tyler Shrink. So. Ah, well, then we'll link to it. Okay, well, that's impressive. Right. So, okay, what else do you want to show us? I love that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is probably this may be my favorite thing. This is a Dyson Link space heater. Oh, I can be controlled by voice. So I get cold all the time, and I don't want to heat up my entire home by changing the whole house temperature. Oh. So this does a great job just heating my room. And I'll kind of show how it works. Wow. Computer asks Dyson to set bedroom. Hold on. Computer asks Dyson to set bedroom temperature to 83 degrees. Your bedroom purifier is now on, and the target temperature is 83 degrees. Oh, so that's how that works. You can set it to whatever temperature you want. You can do uh, fan or heating. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah, that would save a lot of heating bills for a lot of quadriplegics out there. Yep. Now this device is kind of expensive, so yeah. the alternative would be just get like a standard uh, like space heater dish that can always be left in the on position and just plug it into a smart outlet. Okay, well, your Dyson you know, is way cooler, though, than any space heater. That thing is awesome. I yeah, love it's it. Really, mm -hmm. well, what's great is you can change the temperature. You can set timers and routines and modes. You have to do that on the app. You can't do it by voice. Wow. Voice is just hot, cold, on, off, and change temperature. So. Wow, and so I have a question. 83 degrees, that's pretty hot. Yeah, that's how I, that's what I, that's what I do. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a freeze baby too, but you got me beat, man. I think it's because I can't, I can move my arms a little bit. I get really cold all the time, but I, I drive everybody crazy. I like to keep it like 75 in my house, but yeah. 83 is pretty tropical over there. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. You should keep it orchid in your, in your bedroom. It would totally live in there for sure. At I, yeah. Orchid's out in the other room. Awesome. I, keep, I keep my house at 77. So it's yeah. That's so smart. I love that. So how mm -hmm. much was the Dyson? I think it's like between usually between four and six hundred, depending if you get it refurbished or not. Well, that's worth it. That's really really cool. Mm -hmm. I love it. All right, let's see what else you got. This is all this is all in your bedroom, huh? Yeah. Let me turn off the Dyson computer. Ask Dyson to turn off bedroom. Cool. Your bedroom purifier is now off. Well, this is pretty new. This thing right here. It's the Echo Show. I really like it. Oh, let's see. Yeah. So, uh, computer, show me my calendar. Here are the calendar events. Scroll right. down. Scroll down. Cool, cool. Computer, show me my reminders. You may have missed this reminder. Call Josh at 11.45 a.m. Here are your upcoming reminders. Cool. Computer, read me my emails. You have two connected email accounts. Would you like to check your Tyler at assistivetechconsulting.com account? Yes. In the last day, no unread emails in primary. That's Would cool. Would you notify you the next time you get an email in your primary inbox? Yes. 
I'm having trouble accessing this email account so, right now. Anyways, this can do lots of cool things. Reminders, wow. calendar. Pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know. So yeah, that's how that works. I love it. What what if you, I mean, is, where's your spatula stuff set up? Can we see that? Or is that yeah. awesome? Okay. Yeah, let's go. Mm -hmm. If you got like food delivered from an Uber delivery guy, would you ask them to put your food up on a spatula or would that be too personal? Yeah. No, I would. You I would. would. I, would. I, awesome. yeah. I would do that too if I was at your level. I mean, why not? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alexa, trigger living room lights on. So there they are. Ooh, cool. They're and pretty so, high. They look high, but that's because you're sitting up high in your chair, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. So there are, you know, two spoons on the left, a couple spatulas. And so all I have to do is just drive up and, what? you know, my chair goes underneath that. Okay. So, you know, I can get right up in there. So my face is the first thing that hits. I love the that. Spoons. It's like, it's, not, it's like, you should create a name for it, like a name for it. Yeah, actually, um, mm -hmm. so if people are interested, Ram Mounts makes something like this. Okay. Um, it's a little more expensive. I mean, it's obviously going to be cheaper if you just buy a spatula. Yeah. Um, but they, if, but if that's not an option, I think Ram Mounts does sell something similar. Uh, there's nothing on there right now, though, huh? There's what? Is there any food on your spatulas right now? Not right now. Now I know. I was like, okay, I can't see any. Well, that's very cool. So, um, hmm, I don't, and so, and then I guess that's pretty, is there anything else there you want to show us before I let you go? I mean, yeah. this is crazy. There's, I love this. There's some water. Oh, there's your water bottles. Yep. Those are this yeah. with the cool little necks there. Yeah. Those and are, then, mm -hmm. yeah, if anyone's interested in TV controls, I recommend they try the Fire TV Cube. It let, the good thing about that is it lets you kind of navigate within applications. I'll just, I'll show you real quick. Yeah, let's see. Alexa, turn on the TV. Alexa, go home. Alexa, go home. Jerry, Brad, isn't the evidence that... No. What's great about this is this is where all my streaming applications are. I can move around in here so I can go, Alexa, go down. Alexa, go down. Mm -hmm. I can't go down. Yes, you can. Alexa, move down. I can't scroll down. Well, usually you can. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I need to do an update or something. Okay, but the idea okay. is, is I can scroll down and then get to like where it says Netflix, Prime Video, Amazon Music. Cool. And then and then scroll right until I find what I want and then select it and do all that type of stuff. And that's all with the fire, the firebox you said? Yeah, fire TV cube. The fire TV cube. That's, and who makes that? Is that Amazon too? Yeah. Awesome. Wow. You got the you got a really cool setup there, Tyler. I love that you were able to get everything you need. You even have the Roomba down there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alexa, tell Goutbot to start vacuuming. <laughs> I love this thing. Very entertaining. <laughs> I have a Roomba at my house too, and I love it. Look at their gods. No. So, you know, Tyler, you're doing a great job, I think, you know, with everything you got. Man, it's too bad. Um, yeah, we need to create robots that can just cook us meals and then just set them in. Yeah. yeah. For sure. That'll be next, huh? <laughs> Look, if you're close to Bill Gates, you should give him a call. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> That's great. Now, you're, do you, did you ever work in the tech industry before? You seem so smart about tech stuff. How did you get so good at it? Uh, just out of necessity. Before my injury, yeah. I was much more into like the physical aspects of my life. You know, I like yeah. to go to the gym, bleach my teeth, wax my eyebrows, do stuff <laughs> like that. I work at Costco and I work construction, so I didn't use my mind. Oh. And the way, the way I talk about it is all the time and energy I spent on going to the gym 
I now put all that time and energy into my mind. And, you know, I take, you know, time each day to either meditate or okay. try to learn something. And so that's like me going to the gym for my mind, training my brain like a muscle. So that's the way I look at it. I love that. I love that. And Tyler, how old are you? You seem like you're, you're 30 something, right? 34. Yeah. 34. Sweet. Oh my gosh. Well, you're all getting old. I'm just, I just, I'm way older than you. So you're, you're a baby in my eyes. So, oh my gosh. Well, it. You'll take it. <laughs> well, awesome. I, I, I love that you're out in Washington state. It's, I, I, seems like a pretty cool place. They have a lot of good spinal cord injury. That support group out there is really great. I know out there, right? Uh -huh. Here at Now Project with Kenny Salvini. He does a great job. Yeah, he does. So this has been really interesting. Thank you, Tyler, for sharing your, your tech with us. What a cool space you have. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you very much for having me. All right, we'll talk to you later, okay? Yeah. All right, all right bye.